All right, so I went into a TJ Maxx and they had this Arctic Air Tower 2.0. And I was very, you know, skeptical about purchasing this, but I did because I wanted to try it out and see if it worked. And I've got to tell you that for 80 bucks, that's what I paid for it at TJ Maxx, this thing came in and it worked super, super good. I mean, I was like completely taken back. I couldn't believe how, how well it worked. Um, so I would recommend this for like a super small place. And uh, this is the box. Gives you a little bit of a little bit of information on how it works. You've got this interior thing that you soak and uh, you also put a frozen bottle in the very bottom of it. And that's what uh, cools it all down. But um, if you guys are looking for a really inexpensive cooling mechanism, I would highly recommend this. This is the way you open it up to get to that filter inside. And this, you know, you've got to you've got to wet this, so you just get it all wet, and then put it back in there just like this. Let me show you how to pull it out, just like that, and then you set it right back in there like that, and it just kind of snaps in. Make sure you have this side facing. This one has these little doohickeys at the bottom. You just got to get them in those holes. And then when you come up here, you've got this little connector here that you got to smack it in, right? Bam, it goes right in to get it out again. You just gotta depress it and pull it. So it's pretty simple. Right back here, check it out. There's a little drawer. So this drawer, you pull out, and you'll see there's water in it right now because I've been using it. And this thing here, you freeze, okay? And that's what gives it, makes it super cool. You gotta fill it up. There's a little cap there. And then you put it in there. And then you just shut it just like that. And that's it, you just plug her in, just like this. And then you come up to the top, and I'll show you how it works. This is the on and off button. When you first press it, it goes right to turbo mode. And then if you want it to even higher, you hit that. This is the lighting for this system. It goes on and off. This, you can time it, two, six, eight and 12 hours and this makes it swivel there it goes and it's blowing some cold air you can see the condensation as it comes out and it works fantastic and what's also cool about this it's got this little handle that you can lift it up by and carry it and it's about i don't know comes up to my hip you see Oops. <laughs> and that's how you do it right there now if you wanted to set it just to do this for two hours you go like that if you wanted to set it for six hours you go like that if you want to set it for eight hours you go like that and you want it 12 hours you go like that now this thing and you want to just have it just go all continuously you do that now this thing will run you know pretty good 16 hours, they say. Look, there. 16 hours, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have this. The room was, was pretty hot earlier. I just test it like here. Let's see. Oops. All right, so let's test this. So you can see 72 that's pretty good <laughs> so it's definitely working so I would highly recommend it if you've got a small area like I'm right here working on my you know desktop this thing's blowing right on me and it's keeping me cause it's actually too cold <laughs> I may have to turn it off so if you guys uh, are looking for something that's super cheap to cool a little area where you're working now it won't last all day but it'll keep you cool for 
you know, probably 16 hours. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos where I show you stuff like this. Peace out.